touring with families. We do tour with all of our families. We don't send them out on their own. We keep all of their information private. So the communities don't contact them. We are their point person and we don't charge for what we do. Um, when someone moves into a community, we don't charge the family. The community actually pays us a referral fee for that move in. Um, so it just makes it a really easy process for the family to have an advocate for them that's really working alongside them to make it a smooth transition. All right. Um, so you all talked about how you help them with uh, care. We can talk about the different types. Tell us a little bit about the different types and what the average costs are for something in, say, the Atlanta area. Sure. So there are definitely more options than there used to be. Um, I think we all remember the days when it was only a nursing home. Either you lived at home, you lived with your family, or you went to a nursing home. Those days are long gone. Um, there are 55 plus or active senior adult apartment complexes, which are great. And that's typically where somebody may start. They usually just provide the apartment, of course, they may have some activities, but they don't really provide a whole lot of service. Then you have independent living, which is kind of a newer concept, I guess, you know, maybe what, 30 years, I guess, maybe it's been around. Um, but independent living is where you're starting to see some services come in. So maybe they're providing some meals for the residents. They're providing transportation. You know, they're including utilities and the cost of the apartment so the senior doesn't have to worry about that. And there's somebody in the building 24 hours a day. So it's just another level of service that the senior can get. Then you have assisted living and personal care homes. So at that point, the senior may need some help with medication assistance or dressing, bathing. Um, of course, activities are still a huge part of what they do. Transportation is provided. So there's just, again, every time you move up in um, you know, the type of community that you need, you're moving up that level of service. And so you see that reflected in the cost as well, which we'll get into in just a second. And then you have memory care. Memory care communities are a very important part of senior living at this point when we're seeing such an increase of dementia and Alzheimer's and different memory loss um, issues that people are having. So memory care, you have a, um, a separate unit typically that is secured. So those who might, um, you know, be exit seeking or, you know, just not safe in a normal environment, they can be in a secured area and have staff that are specially trained to assist them, which is a huge part of what they do there. And then you still do have skilled nursing or nursing homes that are around today. But I do want to let you know, um, only 10% of people who are in assisted living or personal care or memory care ever have to go to nursing homes. So it's really not, you know, a it's, it doesn't have to be, a, oh, I'm definitely going to have to go to a nursing home someday. It's only 10% that ever have to leave. So it's really fortunate that that's the case. And at skilled nursing, you know, at that point you need medical care 24 hours a day available to you. So it's just, you know, another level of care that is um, provided there.